Let's get real for a moment. Real, real, real. Some of you are just starting a new school year, and some of you are old asses like me and enjoying the fact that you're not. So I'm gonna share a quick real story from each year of high school to commiserate with those of you who are still doing your time. For some perspective, this is me freshman year on the way to the homecoming dance. Notice that forced half smile? That was a lovely ball of awkward. Flash forward to senior year when I decided that I should look like I'm in the middle of a really deep thought in all pictures. Deep thought, deep thought, donuts. I was actually a good student, but I hated sitting through class. I had the, have the attention span of a moth on meth, so I spent a lot of high school doing things to distract myself from the agony. A friend convinced me to join the track team where I very quickly realized that running for no reason sucks. I did discover, however, that I was a pretty decent sprinter. Just nothing over 100 meters or I'd barf. No, seriously, I blew chunks on a race official once. One time at a meet, our star high jumper was injured and my coach chose me at complete random to fill in. I panicked as I stood in line and watched all the girls sail over the bar. So I just counted their steps and studied their technique until it was my turn and then I took a deep breath and I went. Step, 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 step. And then I forgot to jump. So I just face smashed directly in the bar so hard that I almost knocked myself out cold. After high-fiving a bunch of people, mostly on opposing teams, I went back to sitting on the ground and eating gummy bears. You know. For fuel. Believe it or not, my first and only detention was because of candy. Without cell phones as an easy distraction, my friends and I used to go buy candy and sit around the hallways like bored idiots. At some point I was shown how you can use a candy necklace as a slingshot thusly. So if a friend walked down the hallway, we'd launch little candy bits at them until one day when I was aiming at an unsuspecting friend and instead hit a teacher squarely in the ass cheek. I don't know if I would've been caught had I not been frozen in that guilty shock face. You know. <gasps> the slip I had to hand to the detention monitor cited candy projectile as the reason, which is also what I wanted to name my garage band. I was in the drum line because I was convinced that I was destined to be Nirvana era Dave Grohl. Or at least Animal from the Muppets. One time we just had to play a cadence while walking down a really long path to the football field for some pep rally, but the cheerleaders wanted to walk in front of us and do some arm motions to our beat. So to mess with them, we played the cadence slightly faster every time it repeated. they were almost in a full-out sprint just flailing their arms wildly. And when we reached the field and in front of the entire school, I was laughing so hard that I tripped and did one of those slow, trying to save yourself falls to the ground. Only problem was there was a bass drummer behind me whose giant bass drum came crashing down on top of me while I was falling, slowly grinding half of my head into the ground. I spent the pep rally sitting on the bleachers looking like Two-Face. I was 16 when senior year started and my grandpa had just sold me his 80s era Thunderbird for a buck! It was kind of a dull gray version of Homer Simpson's car, but you know, missing a hubcap or two. Anyway, my parents left for work one morning and I was about to drive my neighbor and I to school when my car spun out on some black ice on the driveway and the car slid sideways right into a ditch. We climbed out and instead of doing anything about it, we spent two hours building a snow fort because doing anything about it meant we had to go to school. When my mom found out, she was uh, displeased. Hi mom, sorry I drove you batshit in high school. Hit the like button if you think we would have gotten along in school. And, uh, you know, could always be worse. Attention mobile users! I want you to ring my bell. No, seriously, click the bell icon on my channel page right there, and you'll instantly know when I upload more nonsense. 